Welcome back to Narius Moore and Jacoby Ford. They return to the lineup today as the Raiders prepare to take on the Kansas City Chiefs at home in Oakland as the Raiders control their own destiny now. With three games left to go in the season, they are on top of the AFC West, one game ahead of the Denver Broncos, whom they lost to last week, and two games behind, or two games ahead rather, of the San Diego Chargers. So three games left, Oakland trying to hold on. They play Kansas City today in a home game. They already beat them earlier in the season. And getting two of their best pass catchers back in the lineup should help their offense out. And out to the field comes Carson Palmer. As the Raiders begin this game on offense on their own 23 handoff, Darren McFadden left side running room. He's got a first down on the first play from scrimmage, and he's out of bounds after a big gain of 22. Great way to begin the afternoon, and now Palmer's going to look to go through the air on second down and nine. Back to throw, fires right side, caught Terrell Owens still in the starting lineup. Him and Denarius Moore will play on the outside with Jacoby Ford coming in in the slot roll. Second down and seven, Palmer throws outside, caught Darren McFadden, breaks a tackle, spin move, a first down, and Darren McFadden. Fadden is down to the Kansas City 31 yard line, but now facing third down and nine. Palmer Moore and Jacoby Ford to the right, and Palmer drops back to throw. Palmer fires left, it's almost picked off. It was intended for Brandon Myers, and it was nearly intercepted by safety Kendrick Lewis. And on fourth down, the Raiders attempt a field goal, and Sebastian Janikowski takes care of business. 3 0 Raiders on their opening possession. Good start to the game. And now Kansas City's turn. Jamal Charles, the running back, gets the carry. He goes almost nowhere, tackled by Rolando McClain after a gain of zero. So they spread the field out on third down and ten, and Castle drops back, fires over the middle. It's caught by Tony Moyaki. He's got a first down to the 45-yard line, a gain of 23 yards. And on first down, Chiefs come out offset eye. Castle makes an adjustment handoff. Charles Wright, he's got some running room. He gets about eight yards before he's driven to the ground. And second and two will come up now. Single back, handoff to Charles once more. He's got the first down and more as he gets to the Raiders' 40-yard line. And now they're on the edge of field goal range as Charles gets another handoff. Another first down, gashing this Raiders' run defense, which is usually very impressive. Already 32 rushing yards on this drive. Now finding themselves at the 17-yard line, third down and four. Pitch out Ryan Grant, and he is decked in the backfield by Phillip Wheeler. Loses four on the play, and Kansas City would tie the game up with a Ryan suck-up field goal. The Raiders' offense returns to the field, and Rod Streeter comes through with another catch. He gets eight yards on this play. He definitely emerged in the absence of Jacoby Ford and Arius Moore. There's a big reason why the Raiders are an eight-win team right now at this stage in the season. 30-yard line now, first and 10. Palmer drops back to throw. He's going to sit in the pocket, doesn't like what he sees downfield. And so he rolls out and now fires down, and it's cut by Denarius Moore. Welcome back to the lineup. He gets 31 yards on this catch. Great protection from the offensive line. And now the Raiders find themselves in Janikowski field goal range again. First down, Palmer under pressure. He goes down with a flag on the play, holding on Jared Valdir. That will back up the Raiders to first down and 20 now as they replay the down. Palmer drops back to throw. Incoming pressure. He's sandwiched in the backfield by Tom Bahali and Justin Houston. Houston gets credit for the sack. So second down and 27 now. Palmer drops back to pass. Fires quick over the middle. It's caught by Jacoby Ford. He gets about four yards on this catch, his first since his injury. And so both him and Moore have a catch in this game now. But on third and 23, Tom Bahali comes off the edge once more. And Carson Palmer does not stand a chance. He barely gets a throw off. So Kansas City has the ball again. 9.37 to go in the second quarter. Handoff Jamal Charles cutting to the left side. And they're going to go 3-0 and out on this possession, losing a yard on the play. Now the Raiders have the ball again. Darren McFadden right side. What a spin move as he got rid of Stanford route there. And that's going to be nine yards close to a first down. Palmer drops back to throw looking for a quick pass to the outside. He's got Marcel Reese, the fullback. He's got a first down. He gets to the Chiefs 36-yard line. The, the Raiders have had three possessions in a row now in KC territory, trying to find a way to get six points. And Jacoby Ford tries to make a catch out of the slot here, coming right to left over the middle. He is shaken up on the play, but he would be fine to return later very shortly. Second and 10, Palmer pumps and goes down. Tackled by Tyson Jackson in the backfield, a loss of seven. The Chiefs are getting a lot of pressure on Carson Palmer right now. On third and 17, Palmer can't find Rod Streeter. That's going to bring out Sebastian Janikowski for a 60-yard field goal attempt. Does he have the leg? It's just shy of the crossbar. 
That will give KC the ball at the 50 yard line where Castle sets up shop. Fires to an open Tony Moyaki. First down Chiefs across the 40 yard line, a gain of 14 yards. And now they face a third down attempt here with eight yards to go. Charles in the backfield. Castle drops back to throw. He's going to be under pressure and goes down. Aaron Curry comes on the blitz. He knocks the Chiefs out of field goal range. And this game is still tied at three apiece with under five minutes to go in the first half. Darren McFadden takes a carry off the right side. Another first down. The Raiders have to start getting him the ball more the way he's running right now. Third and six. Palmer over the middle. It's T.O. And he's got a first down for the Raiders. Another first down conversion close to midfield. It's now third down and six. Palmer, four receivers out, back to pass pumps. Doesn't like what he sees, but he finds Streeter after he gets open, and he gets close to a first down. They're going to hurry up and go for it here. Fourth and inches from the Chiefs' 45-yard line handoff. McFadden, he's got the first down to the Chiefs' 41, a gain of four on the carry. On second and ten now, Raiders setting up a screen pass. Palmer gets it off to McFadden. He makes the catch. He's going towards the first down marker, but he's hit hard at the 35-yard line. Will be stopped well shy. And it was a good call there to hopefully evade the blitz, but the Chiefs didn't send any extra rushers on that play. And then Palmer finds Jacoby Ford, who thinks about pitching it to Taiwan Jones. Doesn't do it, though. He spins out of bounds, and they settle for a field goal before halftime. 6-3 to three now as we head to the third quarter. Only three field goals, no touchdowns in the first half. Kansas City has the football. Castle finds an open. Jonathan Baldwin over the middle. He's got 12 yards on his first catch of the game, but Castle still does not even have 50 yards passing. Offense is really struggling right now, and here's Jamal Charles going off tackle. He gets maybe one yard on this carry to the 47-yard line. Third and eight, though. Castle looking for the conversion. He will fire to the right side, and whoa, this one should have been picked off and maybe taken for six points. Well overthrown in the direction of Dwayne Bow. He's showing his frustrations, and the Raiders have the football back, but still no offense for them right now as Darren McFadden gets nothing on the left side. Now they have to throw it on third and ten. Palmer under pressure. He dumps it to Taiwan Jones and he can't get any yards after the catch. Five yard gain. Pump the football back to Kansas City. Hand off Jamal Charles right side. He's got some running room this time. He's got a first down close to the Kansas City 30 yard line. Not very many open running holes in this day today. Both teams, teams play a very good run defense. Third and three, handoff right side. Charles Power running, and he gets the first down. He is shaken up on the play, so Ryan Grant's going to get into the game now. He takes a handoff right side. What a cutback here by Grant as he takes it back up the middle and gets about nine yards in this carry. His only good carry so far of the game. Second and one, pitch outside Ryan Grant, and a flag on the play as he is stopped shy of the first down. Actually lost yards in the play. It's a holding penalty. It's going to back him up for second down and 11 now. From their own 37-yard line, Castle drops back to pass out of the shotgun, finds Dwayne Bow. his first catch on the day. He breaks a tackle, gets into Raiders territory, 17 yards ahead for a Chiefs first down. Ryan Grant still in the game, twin tight ends fake the handoff, and Castle moves back and forth in the pocket now. Rolling left, he finds Moiyaki, shoves away Orlando McLean, up to the 20, breaks a tackle, 10-5, touchdown Kansas City. The first touchdown on the day, and what a play by Tony Moiyaki. Just shoved away Orlando McLean, you never see that happen, what a play. 10-6 now, KC up by 4 late in the third quarter. And the Raiders have nothing on offense right now, even with the return of Denarius Moore and Jacoby Ford. On this third down play, you see Palmer drop back, and there comes Justin Houston, a free rusher. He gets the pass off to Brandon Myers, who hasn't been getting a lot of separation today, and he just drops the first down pass. So it's Kansas City ball again. Ryan Grant goes nowhere up the right side as Rolando McLean gets his bearings back and actually makes a tackle this time and doesn't let the guy throw him away. Third and six, Castle back to throw. Great protection, throwing right side to the sideline. It's out of bounds, overthrows Dwayne Bow. And both of these offenses look very pathetic today, other than Tony Moyaki's one play, really, and a couple good runs in the game for both sides. Palmer's pass over the middle is incomplete. Now handoff, Darren McFadden finds a crease up the middle. He gets a first down for the Raiders up to the 31-yard line. Now he has 84 yards on the day. Second and 12, Palmer bubble screen. Jacoby Ford we used to run this all the time. This time it only gets us three yards, a very solid tackle on the play. So third down and nine, Palmer looking to the left side. He's got Taiwan Jones, and he's not going to get the first down or even close to it, only a two-yard gain. He had Terrell Owens getting open on a curl route on the right side, but... I got a little antsy there. I was feeling pressure all day, so I threw it quickly. But luckily, the Chiefs are not doing anything to really hurt us in any way here. We're missing all these opportunities, having very bad drives. 
It's second down and 10. Castle under center. Drops back to pass. The blitz is picked up by the running back. He's going to trail off to the right side now. Rolling out. Holding onto the football. And fumbles. It's picked up by Aaron Curry inside the 10-yard line. And the Raiders have the football at the Kansas City 7. Here is their golden opportunity. A golden ticket to the end zone from the 7. But on their first play, Darren McFadden, a loss of four on a counter play back to the 11. Now it's third down and goal. Palmer's got to throw this time. Four receivers out, drops back to throw. Incoming pressure. He is sacked by Tyson Jackson for the second time. Janikowski would make it a one-point game now, 10-9. Raiders still down. Castle evades the pressure and finds Moiyaki for a first down. Does not throw anybody Adrian Peterson style. But he does get the first down. It's now second and five. Castle back to throw in the pocket. Under pressure, he goes down. Lamar Houston, the inevitable sack. He knew it was incoming. Lamar Houston has like a seven or an eight or a nine game sack streak going on right now. Third and 13, Castle. And he goes down for the second play in a row. Richard Seymour comes in from his defensive tackle position. And the Raiders have the ball again at their own six yard line. Now pass over the middle. Caught to Narius Moore. First down, Raiders. Want to see some more first downs. Come on, guys. Got to get it together. Second and five. Palmer play action. More pressure incoming on both sides. Throws long. It's nearly picked off. Could have been an easy interception for Keenan Lewis as Tom Bahali is shaken up on the play. That may be the only thing that keeps Palmer upright for the rest of the game is if he is out of the game. Third and five and more comes through the first down grab. Good play on the drag and he gets a first down to the 33 yard line. Now second and ten. Palmer back to throw in the pocket. Nothing open downfield. He goes down. This time it's the rookie out of Memphis, Don Terry Poe, getting the sack on Carson Palmer, forcing him into a hard spot. Third and 19, Palmer goes long, and Denarius Moore drops a first down grab. He would have had it too. It was a dig route, and he had a perfect route run right here, and he was open. But Stanford route comes in, knocks the ball loose, and it's incomplete. The Raiders have to punt and once again get the football back with their defense. 2-0-1 to go. Carson Palmer in the pocket. Nobody around him. Throws left side. Caught Breston on the sideline. Was he out of bounds? Or did he step out of bounds first? We'll take a look at the replay here. Look at Stevie Breston. Go in the middle of the field. Now cut to the outside towards the sideline. Castle lets it fly. And look at his right foot. Almost on the edge. You can't get much closer to the sideline. That was a legal play. Great play by Stevie Breston. And with that first down, the Raiders cannot relinquish one more first down in this game. They're calling their timeouts now, and third down and eight is coming up. They have one timeout left. Got to stop Ryan Grant from getting eight yards. Castle gives it to Ryan Grant. Left side breaks a tackle, met by two defenders, and goes down after a gain of two. Call their third timeout now, and the Raiders are getting the football back. Jacoby Ford sitting at his own 12-yard line. Blocker set up, takes it up the middle of the field. Breaking to the outside, now has some green in front of him, and he cuts and is taken down at the Raiders' 34-yard line. This is good field position, though, for the Raiders. They just have to get a field goal to get this win. 91 seconds to go. Palmer to throw. Pass to Myers. It's tipped and picked off by Derek Johnson. That will essentially end the game. First play of the drive, and Brandon Myers drops the ball once again, and there was Derek Johnson to catch it before it hit the ground. Look, at it's tipped right to Derek Johnson. Wait a minute here. Look at the football. Does this touch the ground before Derek Johnson intercepts it? Look at the replay here. It's very, very close. How close can we get here to see? Is it touching a blade of grass? It looks like it might be, but they did not overturn the call. The Chiefs get a 10-9 victory and knock off the Oakland Rears. Look at the sumo wrestler they made Romeo Cornell in this game. Wow. And so in the first game back for Janarius Moore and Jacoby Ford, the Raiders have their worst offensive showing of the season. Both teams here, Kansas City had 205 yards of total offense, and the Raiders had 179. They were 3 of 13 on third down. Kansas City was 2 of 10. This game featured one touchdown on a play where the tight end threw away a middle linebacker and then a defensive back to go into the end zone. 19 combined points scored here. Hope you guys took the under in this game. Look at the headlines here. Adrian Peterson is out for the year again for the Vikings. And look at the standings. The top team in the NFL is 10-4. The best any team can finish is 12-4. That's crazy right now. The Lions are on top and headed back to the playoffs. And luckily for Oakland this episode, the Denver Broncos were not victorious, but the Chargers were. That means the Broncos and the Chargers are both 7-7, seven seven, one game behind the 8-6 Oakland Raiders who are struggling right now. 
And so if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button for me, please. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for all my upcoming content, including the Oakland Raiders Connected Careers Mode series. Next episode, can the Raiders fix what is going wrong with this team right now against the Carolina Panthers on the road? Find out next episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.